gone for the standard limp, followed by Curly with a limp. Now that's not a bad flop. Five five eight. Now he must represent a pair here. He's checked it. He's hit the six. Now we must check again. We must check again. Bet three hundred. And a call. I think Curly's going to fold here. Don't think Curly's got much. Possible per. I think he's probably sitting there with a couple of high cards. A small stacks just limps here. And you're holding a six three and No, I got that wrong. What's happened here? Ted's called with a six three. Totally baffled. Maybe you can give me an answer to it. Have we got a bug? Is he drunk? And the value bets with the six three. Strange one that, my friend. I think I'd have been bumping it there. Great chance of hitting something. A three hundred bet for a continued. Continuous bet is very, very weak. <coughs> oh, Blue on the Stars game. My uh, shed's got a very nice one here. Is he going to be muffed? No heart, thank you. Oh dear me. That's per usual, get done with a donk. Unlucky buddy. Right, now we've got Ace King suited, we've got a raise from Spider, now he's got to be banging in a 1600 bet here. No point in messing about with Ace King. A nice big raise. He's bet three times, that's not too bad. The only problem with that is if somebody else goes, then Spider's going to go as well. But as it turns out, everybody folds. Take the chips, good enough. A7 suited again, that's straight in the uh, rubbish bin.
I suppose it's a little bit better than 6-3, but you never know what's going on with people's minds. And he's called it. Could probably be a tactical move here, chip, chip dump into his teammate. I expect a raise from Almack and a fall from Shed. Bet from Almack, fall from Shed. God, I should have been psychic. I hope so at the least, uh, seeing Shed.